I will going to do this pink charm. You see, it's very easy to do. Marion will make a pillow sham identical to this one. Okay, in this, in this uh, area, you can put the button. This is a pillow sham. Oh, some beautiful pillow. Look at this behind. Did you see with the batting? The batting around the trim? Yes, and all the, the pillow inside and in the trim here. Looks beautiful. Are you happy to see this pillow? I know. You like it. And you like it to do. Okay? Okay. I will show you how I do this pillow charm. This uh, area for the buttons is like that. You see? It's you cut the piece like this. Uh, nine inches. Nine inches. Nine inches. And you fold it up. You fold it up like that. Fold it up. And you make this. About two inch fold. Yes. Because this is this. This piece here. Now she's going to use her pins to hold it in place. Okay. While she, so she can stitch it without it moving. Okay. okay, this is the another piece. This piece. I am. Folds it up two inches in irons. And this piece is going to be the top piece right here. Yes, this. And the other piece is this piece that will have the buttons uh -huh. on the inside. This will be the back side. Yeah. Okay. And put the fabric on the body. And like that. Okay. And cut the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will put a uh, own lining. This kind of lining. You can use this lining. Okay. For hold the, the body. Okay. You hold the, the lining, the body, and the fabric, three pieces before you go to the machine. Mariam always uses pins to keep the batting in place with the lining and the top top face fabric. If you use the pins, you don't have a difficult. Lenny, to put these two pieces. Now she's sewing the bottom side together which is the side where the pillow slips in, which will also have buttons. Make nice stitch here. Okay. So, this piece for the, the buttons. This is the or piece. Velcro, whatever you want. This is the piece for the button or even Velcro if you want it back. This piece is first. This piece is first. Put this piece first. 
Yeah. Again, she's putting her pins in to line it up before she stitches it. And put this piece, this simple piece is coming upstairs on the, the, the fabric, the batting, the lining doesn't move. And you do a good job. Be happy doing yourself. Okay. This is the first step. It's till, till right here, from here, and try to move uh, remote. Double stitches right over there where the envelope starts. Right now she's lining it up to make this piece right here. She's going to sew this stitch. And she's just lining it up with pins before she stitches to hold it in place. Two inches and three quarters. I would do the same. Three inches and three quarters. Right here. This area is this job is this. Look at this. Looks professional. Yeah? You can do it in your house by yourself. I know. In this case, below chum. And you put in your bed and looks make a good bed. Looks elegant. Beautiful. Alright?